Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For PowerPoint 2016, there are some new and innovative additions to help you create presentations more efficiently. Probably the biggest new addition is the Tell Me bar located in the ribbon. The Tell Me bar allows you to enter a search term or phrase and will return suggestions for commands. For example, typing Add Footer into the Tell Me bar will display a drop-down menu. The first option would be Header and Footer. Clicking this will open the Header and Footer dialog box where you will be able to create or edit the header and footer for that slide. Other related commands will also be contained in the drop-down menu. A Get Help On option is also available. Selecting this command will open the classic Help window, allowing you access to the normal Help options for PowerPoint. Smart Lookup and Insights are two new interconnected features in PowerPoint 2016. Smart Lookup, in conjunction with the Insights pane, brings the search power of Bing into your PowerPoint application without having to open a separate browser window. There are a few different ways to utilize these features. You can enter a search term or phrase into the Tell Me bar, and then choose the Smart Lookup on command from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can simply select a word or phrase within your presentation, right-click it, and then select the Smart Lookup command from the pop-up menu, or click the Review tab in the ribbon, and then click the Smart Lookup button that appears in the Insights button group. Whatever option you choose will then open the Insights pane at the right side of the screen. The Insights pane contains an Explore and a Define section. The Explore section contains links to different websites that may have something to do with the term or phrase you selected or entered. The Define section works much like a classic dictionary and will have definitions as well as synonyms, antonyms, word origin, and related information. The ribbon also contains a new Share button that allows you to save your presentation to a OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or a SharePoint online storage account. This allows for real-time collaboration on a project and expands the sharing capabilities introduced in PowerPoint 2013. In addition to PowerPoint's extensive chart list, there are six new dynamic charts available. You can find these on the Insert tab in the Illustrations button group. The new charts are called Box and Whisker, Tree Map, Sunburst, Histogram, Pareto, which is contained in the Histogram Chart category, and Waterfall. These new charts come with the same formatting options as the existing charts. You can now also handwrite mathematic equations and have them translated into text using the new Ink Equation function. This is especially helpful when using a touch-based device. You can click the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then click the Equation drop-down button that appears in the Symbols button group. Choose the Ink Equation command at the bottom of the drop-down menu to open a pop-up dialog box. Here you will be able to write your equation using the supplied input box. PowerPoint will then translate the written equation into text. With the increased focus on online collaboration, PowerPoint 2016 now comes with better conflict resolution. When working on a real-time collaboration, if there are conflicts between changes made by different people, PowerPoint will show a side-by-side -side comparison and allow you to choose the changes to accept. If you save files to your OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Online Storage, you can see a complete list of changes that have been made to your presentation. Note that this function will not work if you use a personal OneDrive storage account. Only a OneDrive for Business or SharePoint account will allow for this functionality. To do this, click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the History command. You will also be able to access earlier versions of your presentation by using this feature. PowerPoint 2016 now comes with three different Office themes. They are colorful, dark gray, and white. Access these choices by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then choosing Options within the Backstage view. Under the General category, you will see an Office Theme drop-down. You can select an option from this drop-down list and then click the OK button in the window to implement that theme. In this same Personalize Your Copy of Microsoft Office section, you can also select an Office background. This will place whatever option you choose from the list as a background within the title bar. You can click the OK button in the PowerPoint Options window to apply your changes to the Office theme and Office background when finished.
Embedding videos from an online source has also been updated for PowerPoint 2016. You can now simply copy an embed code from a website and then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Click the Video drop-down button within the Media button group and simply choose Online Video to open an Insert Video dialog box. You can paste the embed code into the From a Video Embed Code text box and then click the arrow in the text box to insert the video into your presentation. This function was made available in PowerPoint 2013. It has just been updated to work more smoothly with embedding videos into a presentation. The Apps button group from PowerPoint 2013 found within the Insert tab in the ribbon has been updated and is now called the Add-ins button group for PowerPoint 2016. It includes a Store button that will open a pop-up pane that contains the Microsoft Office Store. The My Add-ins drop-down button will allow you to manage any add-ins you currently have and access the store to find more. These add-ins can help increase productivity and expand the creative aspects of PowerPoint to create vivid and memorable presentations. The Apps button group can still be found in PowerPoint 2013 and clicking the Store button will take you to the same Microsoft Online storefront as the Store button in the My Add-ins group for PowerPoint 2016. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.